If you want to see me swatch the Nikki Tutorials and Beauty Bake Lab, then stick around. Hi there, it's Elen and welcome back, or if it's your first time, welcome to HMM Makeup or Hmm Makeup. I am so excited today because I have waited for, uh, I've waited to swatch this palette because I was concerned about letting a couple of shadows that had become problematic that I had to repress. I wanted to make sure that they were set and it ended up that I waited longer than I had to, but the day is finally here where I am going to swatch this palette and I'm super excited. This was a gift from Steph. Steph is my longtime friend now here on YouTube. I will put her channel right here for you. Uh, and I will also put the unboxing of what it is that she sent me if you want to see everything that came in the box. And let me just open up the palette for you. So if you've not seen it, I'm sure uh, if you're on YouTube at all, you've seen it. There are There's a mirror on each side. So it, it's a half flap palette. So there's a mirror on this side as well. Just don't want to blind you. Uh, and I'm going to flip the two mirrors back here so that you can see the palette without getting blinded by the uh, ring light. And so you'll see a little bit. Can I, can I fold them back? No, I can't fold them back. What am I going to do? This is what I'm going to do. So here's, here's the palette with the mirrors folded in so that uh, nothing is blinding you. I had to, to repress, I think it was one shadow or two. Just look here. Oh yeah, just the one shadow. It's it's another palette where there were there were two shadows. Um, the top uh, right hand corner. Do you see the chocolate brown there? And uh, it ended up going kind of in the in the matte green there for a bit. It is such an eclectic set of shadows. And I did watch when this first came out. I did watch Nikki Tutorials video, but I did not know that I was going to own the palette. I'm probably going to go back and take a look at her introduction to this palette as well to kind of help me navigate the kinds of looks that I might want to do and watch a few of her uh, tutorials using her palette, just, just out of curiosity. Um, some of the brown is still getting different places on the palette. Anyway, um, but I do want to swatch uh, this palette today and what is very exciting to me is that there are some very intriguing shimmers. There usually are intriguing shimmers in palettes, but there are so many, so many bright mattes and that gets me very excited. I love bright mattes. I did uh, indeed create this look that has some brightness with the yellow on the inner lid. If you want to see how I created this video, I'll put it right there for you. I I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it and let's just say that the products I used were pre-set. I didn't pick them, they kind of came curated for me, if you will. I, would, I don't want to do any spoilers. So um, we've got 20 shadows by what I can see and um, I think uh, that I'm going to go by row. It looks like the curation by row would work so I'm going to go, or column I should say, so one column, two columns, three columns, and, and so on. That's how I'm going to go about it. Um, boy, this is a really tough design, palette design, to hold in front of the camera, let me just say. Um, and I'll also say, I said it kind of in a different way earlier, this is one of the more interesting color schemes I've seen in a while. So I... I, I'm really curious to, to better understand how the colors were chosen and which ones go best with which. I, I'm really curious. I'm going to stop talking <laughs> and we're going to go into the first column. Uh, and the first column, just to make sure that you see it, is the one starting up here. That's the one I'm going to do first. So we've got four beautiful colors that all look like they go well together. So let me just... Oh, the mats are so smooth. Holy cow. I love that. Oh my goodness. This is going to be so much fun. So here's the first column. Look at those, right? Now, this and this, I would say, is not such an atypical color, but the quality of the mats, it looks so good. And I didn't, of course, of course, Elen, you didn't lift up your sleeves to be ready. Okay, so here we go. 
and I will definitely need both arms to swatch this palette because there are 12, 16, 20 shadows. I cannot possibly do that on one forearm. So 20 shadows means 10 per arm. So that was a really wide, lousy swatch. So let me just even that out a little bit. The mats are so finely milled. I love that. Okay, now um, let's keep going. I'll get more efficient here. Okay, so I'm not going to give you names, but you can know that it's from left to right, all in columns. There are pictures of that palette all over. Okay, that blue mat did not really do a great job. I got so excited I went back into the yellow. Now we've got the, the final one. It's really hard to see next to the, uh, see the blue next to this one, but the blue is there. It just, it's just, doesn't look like anything. Okay, so those are the first four colors and I'm going to go back in for sure. And I've mentioned it before that um, mats don't always swatch very well and we're really seeing that as an example right now. And this is the blue. Let's see if it has, oh, okay, it's a little bit better. See if I can even that out. Okay, and the pinky. I'm really liking that last color. Okay, so if you want a really soft look, those pinks and blue look really nice. This, this is one of my favorite colors no matter what. I appreciate seeing that one in a palette, but I also have quite a few of that color now. <laughs> but one out of four that is very familiar to me is not that big of a deal. Okay, so I'm wiping my fingers now. I just went to get a towel. And we are going to go into the second column that has a very bright yellow that definitely has my attention. So we are now on this column right here. See that yellow? It looks just fantastic. And hopefully it's a little bit more intense than the yellow that I have uh, on this eye look today. I was, I was expecting more punch to the yellow and it kind of turned into more of a yellowy orange, but anyway, it is what it is. Let's go into that column. Okay, so here are the four colors in the second column. And let's see how these look. Hopefully you can see it on camera. Okay, that is a very nice matte pink. Very nice matte pink, and boy, does it go with those other colors. That is promising. And that yellow, yes! Yes! Oh, ho, ho, ho. Nikki, you nailed it. Oh, it's beautiful. And third, that is beautiful as well. That is very pretty and different. It actually makes me think of a nail polish from Siate Mini Mani Month that I actually had to declutter this month because it, it won't set anymore. And there is a salmon -y color at the end. So there we go. We've got two columns done. And I think I have enough room for a third column. So we're going to do that right now. And fingers. Uh, oh, no, I, I need to do a second go. But look at the, the intensity of the colors. It looks like they've been double swatched, doesn't it? I was, I was ready to move on, but, but I need to do a second set of these swatches. So let's do that right now. So given that I was almost duped, uh, duped from, uh, th in thinking, I should say, that uh, this first go was two sets of swatches, tells me that this second column is just something to uh, really try out because it's very rare that mats look that intense on the first go. It's, it's virtually... I don't, I don't encounter it very often. Let's just say that. So now 
This is two sets of swatches for each shadow. I'm really impressed with the second column. I mean, really, really impressed. And, in, and a yellow? Are you kidding me? The, the blue is the only one I'm not happy with. The camera can see. It, I, the blue is eh, just, just not, not great, but everything else. Okay, okay, Nikki. Thank you, Steph. This looks, this looks awesome, and I, I'm a sucker for yellows and orange and red. I just like those colors. We are now going into the third column. So we're going into this one here, and this one is more blues and reds, and I think that that is going to suit me just fine. Okay, so here are the four colors for this middle column. And they look quite different from what we've swatched so far. So we have a, looks like a silver, almost like a topper. I'm good with that. I like toppers. One or two in a palette is nice. That looks a whole lot like the red in the Juvia's Place palette that I used for this look, but this one's actually red. Go figure. The one I have on, it's, it's um, fooled me twice now thinking I'm going to end up with a red look and it's it's pink. I have so many palettes in my collection that I just forgot that it tends to be a pink look. And this one is blue, it's nice. Sorry, I was off camera. Um, but it's very flaky. It's Half of it's ending up on the floor right now. It just did not want to say, stay, so it's probably a padding down type of a shadow. So that is what those or look like and this one is very flesh tone so it's very hard to see but I did swatch that shadow for sure and the fingers the blue is pretty it's just very messy okay let's go in one more time okay so here are the shadows I patted my finger in this time as opposed to uh, drag it into the palette I don't want to make a mistake okay so here's that kind of topper shadow oh and it got contaminated a little bit with the red here. That's okay, we will carry on. There's the red. Yeah, it's it's a little bit on the, well, there's a little bit of blue undertone, but there's also orange undertone. I, I'm not sure how that works, but okay. And this is a beigey color. And then that really intense blue that probably did not need a second swatch, but I'm doing it anyway. Okay, that is a lot to take in, a lot to take in. There's so much that I can do with this palette. You can go really loud or you can go really soft, downright neutral even, right? You've got that salmony color and this light beige could be an easy, very, very neutral look. Uh, no question there. So, I mean, there, there are quite a few options in this first set of um, three columns in this palette. Okay, I'm going to wipe off these fingers and switch arms because I'm running out of room. And uh, we have two columns left. So let me wipe off my fingers and we'll get started on column number four. Okay. My fingers are clean and we are ready to go for the fourth column, which is this one right here with the blue at the bottom. So we've got a nice deep purple. That third one, I am dying to swatch. It looks so, so beautiful. So three mattes, which I'm never mad at. And that one just, just lovely goodness called All In that I definitely want to sprinkle all over my eyes because it looks so amazing. Okay, so here are the colors for the fourth row. Three mattes and this one that looks so amazing to me. So let's start swatching. So, oh, ho, ho, ho. I love this color. Let me take my bracelet off. We don't need that kind of distraction. We're busy. Okay, so there's that first swatch. What a matte that is. <gasps> and this is a beautiful camel color. Very good to add to the neutrals options. That, now that, go really well with the camel color. 
Look at that. There's green in with the brown. I really enjoy those kinds of colors. Now we've got this messy blue. I'm pretty sure it's going to be messy. Very royal blue. That on the lower lash line, similar to what I've got today, is, is kind of nice. But I think there would be more intensity with this shadow than in the pencil I used, believe it or not. That is very, very blue. Super. Okay, let's go in one more time and see how they build. That burgundy color is called Slasher, and it is just this amazing matte. And for someone with green eyes, which is what I have, this is a beautiful color to work with. So is the camel color, actually. Oh, what a column. This one didn't even need a second swatch. Look at these colors. And with the pinky, this royal blue, just with the pinky, look at the payoff. They keep, they keep getting better. Wow, okay. Steph, I don't know why I waited so long to swatch this one. Uh, well, I, I was sheepish with the, the repressing and stuff and I did, didn't want to, to wreck the palette, but I did definitely wait too long. This, oh my gosh, I want, I want these colors on my eyes pronto. Okay, let's take a look at the last column. And I want to be proven wrong. This is the last column is the column I'm least excited about. So I'm hoping that my swatching will convince me that I am dead wrong. And um, yeah, let's see what happens. Okay, so here are the colors. I'm not big on Kelly Green. So we are going to see what happens. Okay, this is a very nice brown. Very easy to build a look around. Not great on the first swatch, but it is a matte, so that's fine. Oh, that is smooth. That is really smooth. Just those two colors and maybe that blue on the lower lash line and you've got a look right there. And that Kelly Green, I think, yep. And this last one coming up, I'm very intrigued by, so let's take a look at what that is going to turn out to be. Wow, that was effortless to get it just glides on the skin. Very, very pretty. Okay, we're going to go in a second time. Okay, and that first color, uh, that is 5 a.m. And that's the one that I had to repress out of the palette. I actually repressed this one and uh, the next one over called uh, Underground. This is Underground. But it's a more, it's a tackier shadow, so it just, it, Pressed right back in, no problem. And then that Kelly Green. And this one again, that really doesn't need a second swatch, but let's just do it anyway. Um, brown base with green, she seems to be pretty big on, so that this is not quite brown base, but sim similar kind of a feel for, for those two eyeshadows. Uh, so let's just take a look at all of them. It is a very, very different uh, curation of colors. If we take away the, the typical pinks, so if we kind of ignore these guys, this is a very different palette. There's a lot to take in here, a lot to take in. And, and I'm going to say because I'm someone who really likes to work with mattes, I'm, I'm happy, I'm really happy with the quality of the mattes, so much so that some of the mattes swatched like shimmers. Um, really, really solid. I mean, to have a yellow this vibrant like that, I'm, I'm really impressed. Red is also hard to formulate. Uh, it, th this one is, is so, so beautiful. I want to use this one in a hurry. I, I really like it. I'm not that big on blue eyeshadow, but I would use this as a liner. 
and the green I have no idea how I would use it to be to be frank it's not it's not a color that I would really use but when I look at 20 shadows and I'm thinking there's one the Kelly green that I'm not sure how I would use that is really a non-issue in my books um, I, I am a little concerned about the the blue but maybe with a sticky base it, uh, it will look great um, I just don't see how it's it's going to build unless my skin was super super dry underneath and it just didn't adhere to the skin that might be but yeah the blue um that's barely showing up and the kelly green are the, the two that i'm kind of going hmm but there are so many interesting colors that i've already drooled over the yellow is just is just phenomenal where is it right there that is just phenomenal so i mean there, there are a number of colors shadows that i'm excited about in this palette that it doesn't really matter if there are a couple that I'm kind of going meh, right? Um, let me know what you think of the Nikki Tutorials palette. If you have used it, it's been out for quite a while. If you have used it, let me know if you've got some favorite combos. I would love to have kind of a, a kind of a running start uh, with the palette and uh, so any of your suggestions I would love to hear, especially if you want to see how I end up using combos. Um, if you've got some combos you want to uh, to suggest, I'm all ears there as well. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed the swatches of the Nikki Tutorials and Beauty Bay Collab palette. Um, I don't know if it has a name. She calls it the Pressed Pigment Palette. And yeah, Nikki Tutorials and Beauty Bay, and that's it. So yeah. Anyway, stay tuned for some looks, and as I said, if you have requests, please don't be shy. Let me know which colors you'd like uh, me to use, especially if you are if you have this palette and you're you're looking for some new ideas or or something different. Yeah, just uh, just leave a comment, and, and we'll go from there. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it every single time, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. But for now. Take care.